So I'm gonna talk to you guys about my experience. You guys are gonna see demos, the different ways I wore it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys my final, final review and what I think about this hoodie. <laughs> My name is Patricia and I'm known as God's Design here on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've ever fell on any one of my videos, what's up? My name is Patricia. I'd love to see you back. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Welcome to my review of the new Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. It's the newest foundation from Hourglass. Um, and this thing has been hyped up so much on YouTube. I just had to contribute to the community by doing a review. You ever wanna try a product, but you wanna see someone in your exact shade apply this product, that is me. So that's why I decided to do this. I love Hourglass foundations. I reviewed the stick version of this foundation and um, I'll leave that up in the cards for you guys. Check out, by the way, I absolutely love the stick. I still have it, I repurchased it. I love the stick version of this foundation. Also, I did another review on an Hourglass foundation. I'll leave that up in the cards. I can't remember the name of that foundation right now. Hourglass is one of those brands where they don't come out with a whole lot all the time, but when they do, it's like everyone's excited about it because they don't come out with a lot. Um, I appreciate that they, that they take their time you know, sort of formulating their products instead of coming out with something new every five seconds. I went and purchased it the very day that it was available for purchase on Sephora. And I accidentally ordered the wrong color. I ordered this color, which is golden amber. Um, I don't know how it happened, you guys. I clearly, clear, clearly this is, no. So I sent my fiance to purchase the right color. Um, and it's called Golden Almond. I decided to go with the very same shade that I am in the stick foundation, and that is Golden Almond. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my experience. You guys are gonna see demos, um, everything like that, the different ways I wore it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys my final, final review and what I think about this foundation. So let's talk about my skin for a second so you know where I'm coming from, okay? I typically wear NC, uh, 50 and MAC foundations. I wear sandalwood um, and Estee Lauder double wear just to give you an idea of what color or what shade I am. I have a combination to oily skin type and it just is what it is. I deal with the grease and I make the best of it, okay? I like foundations that last long. I like coverage but um, I don't like cake face. So that's where I'm coming from. That's what I like and that's, that's how I'm gonna review this foundation. So I'm here on the website. By the way, the other foundation that I reviewed by um, Hourglass is the Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation. So the claims of this foundation, it says a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just a half of a pump, no primer needed. This innovative weightless formula applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and flawless complexion available in 32 shades. So those are the claims of the foundation. The first thing that struck me is like, what, without a primer? No, it can't, it can't be. So day one, I applied this foundation with a primer because I wasn't a believer, okay? I always use a primer and so I wanted to stick with my normal routine. One thing that I, notice right away is that this foundation is full coverage. I applied too much day one because I just wasn't used to this amount of coverage. By the way, I use a brush to apply this foundation on day one. Though I like co coverage, not at the expense of a natural-ish finish, okay? Can we get coverage and natural? Is it possible? Can we get both? Because that's the type of life that I'm trying to live. So I was concerned at first. I was concerned. But one thing that I did note was how fresh my skin looked without it feeling super dewy. Um, and so I really appreciated that. All right, guys. So this is day one of the Hourglass 
Banish liquid foundation. I want to show you guys the time. It is 10.22 and um, I'm about to head to church and it's gonna be like a full day out. The makeup is not done. Um, I still need to put some eyeliner on my eyes, put some lipstick and some mascara, but I'm gonna do that in the car. Outfit of the day while I'm standing here. It's just a black dress, has a little cutout on the shoulders, my MK watch. I don't know if I can show you. The skirt is a little, kind of hits the knees when it's pulled all the way down. 9.47 p.m. and I'm getting ready to take off this foundation. I did not retouch this at all. At all. And remember, I have oily skin. I am very impressed. I did not blot or anything, not one time. I do have some criticisms, but this is the first time I'm using it. I'm going to use it a second and third time different ways. And we'll, we'll come back and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But I really like it. The foundation creased in my laugh lines um, right around here, which doesn't happen often with my foundation. So I was kind of like, Wah? this foundation is gorgeous, but that is not cute. So day two, I applied the foundation with the brush. I also used less product, about half the product that I, and I don't typically use a lot guys. I'm like a one pump, maybe pump in a quarter type of girl. I don't use a whole lot of foundation on my face. So day two, I applied less product. I still use the brush and I did not apply a primer. I followed directions. I did not apply a primer. And guys, guys, when I tell you 10 times better, I don't know what it is about not using a primer. I do, I have to say this now, on the actual packaging, for best results, prep skin with Hourglass Veil M Mineral Primer. So you can use a primer, but you can only use their primer? I don't know. I happen to, I ran out of their, their primer and I, I use their primer. I love it, I think it's awesome. But all I had left was the Becca Ever Matte one. And for whatever reason, the creasing, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a combination of the primer and using too much product that made it crease. But right here on the box is this formula is highly concentrated. Only a small amount is needed. And they ain't never lie. So day two, I had way better results. It looked good in natural daylight. It looked good inside. Um, it just is a be it was just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I still felt like it looked like foundation. But I was loving everything else. So day three, which is, well, technically it was yesterday. Um, the foundation by this time has been on for a total of 14 hours. Don't judge me. I went to work. Okay. Y'all know your girl is a nurse. And so I applied this foundation prior to going to work. And um, I worked all night and it's morning time. Do I look like I've been up all night? Taking care of patients, saving lives or whatever. I wanted to do this video and knock it out for you guys. Girls, do you wear that much foundation to go to work? Yes, yes, yes I do. Ask my coworkers, yes, yes I do. Look, if you look good, you do good, okay? So day three, I use no primer and this time I decided to resurrect my Real Techniques um, blender, like facial, I don't I can't remember what it's called, beauty blender, but the Real Techniques version. I decided to resurrect the beauty blender. Lately, I have been, I have been using brushes um, to apply my foundation, but I decided with this foundation to take out my Real Techniques one because it's so highly pigmented that you need sort of that the sponge to diffuse the color in a very in a natural way and then slowly build up the look and that's how i got this okay yes i think it looks good what y'all think guys let me pull up the monitor so i can see oh i think the color is a really good match i have like a demo of me applying this guys and it was on a horrible day i think i is i think it was day two to day two of me applying this. I was recovering from some hormonal breakouts plus the lighting in here was absolutely horrible. But I want you guys to see how it applies. The consistency, the cream, it's a creamy, it's not like a full on cream, but it's definitely not a liquidy foundation. I applied it directly to my face and then blended it out. In this demo, you're probably seeing me use a brush 
However, um, my recommended way, I will recommend you use a beauty blender. Make sure you stick to their half a pump recommendation because that's literally all you need. Unless you like cake face, be to the gods, then go for it. I'm not going to hold you, okay? Do you. Okay, let's just get to my final thoughts. Guys, I love this foundation. The finish is gorgeous. The color match I think is pretty good. To me, this color match golden almond is better than the stick um, color match for me. For whatever reason, they say on the website that this color golden almond, it said like neutral, I, which I don't know. I don't think I would say it says medium deep with the neutral undertone but this foundation to me pulls really really yellow which is cool because as you can see my undertone is yellow so it works for me um i find that um because it's so yellow though it kind of reminds me of like nars foundations which really go yellow it's important for me to use my like um covergirl ebony bronze bronzer and um you know contour a contour that's a little bit more warm in order to bring some of them red tones back to my face so i don't look too yellow 32 shades we could do better we could do better but what i appreciate about the 32 shades is you know it's it doesn't lean one way or the other to me anyway judging by what i'm looking at the webs on the website it really does you know it's not like 20 shades of beige and then like other you know what i'm saying it's a it's a good variety for the 32 though we would like more and though we would like deeper shades which you know y'all know how that goes this foundation is definitely long wearing i have to blot about at the six hour mark which i think is fine this definitely is uh one of my favorite foundations that i've tried in a long time and i can definitely see this one sticking around in my um uh collection i'm, I'm feeling like you guys would want to know whether i like the stick better or whether i like this better and that's a very very hard question very 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 hard question I feel like the finish with, on these two foundations are very different and obviously the application is very different. Some of you might like the stick because it is, and you know, it's easy to apply. Quick, one, two, three, done, as opposed to a traditional liquid foundation. And some of you guys might like the traditional liquid because this is what you're used to. I might have both. I'm just saying, um, I might have both, but if I had to, had to, had to, had to choose between the two, I would choose the liquid. This foundation retails for $56, which is a lot of money. It is the most expensive foundation that I own right now. And um, it is what it is. Uh, is it worth it? that's up to you to decide what's worth it for you based on your budget based on your needs are there cheaper things that can give you a nice look yes however i must say that the pigmentation on this is unmatched and because you need so little product to get you know full coverage you know it it'll last you a while and so there's that um did i show you guys the packaging i don't think i did it i'm just it's been so long guys since i've done a beauty okay so this is the packaging i think it's absolutely gorgeous it has a weird type shape you know the stick was a was a triangle and this one's got like a what is this, a trapezoid is that what that is i don't know you get um how much fluid ounce in here how much is in here 0.84 so not even like a full fluid ounce hourglass hourglass they doing that they don't give you any product for the money that you pay uh that's all right because it's it's goodness that's in this product i enjoyed it um i would recommend it to those of you guys who have normal i don't know every once in a while you fall on a foundation that actually can work for several different skin types and i think this is one of them I, unless you have super, 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 super dry skin, I don't see this drying you out. I really don't. 
you have really 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 oil and oily skin you know walk around with the blot paper and with the powder do what you gotta do just use the mineral veil because the mineral veil i did i did a whole video on my favorite primers and the mineral veil was on that list it is a legit good uh primer for oily skin so try it with that and maybe it will help keep the oil at bay otherwise i have a combination oily skin type sometimes i'm normal most of the time i'm just oily and i found that it didn't break apart on me and even when the shine came through i feel like oily skin types have a low tolerance for shine so at any little bit of shine we're already ready to blot um but even when I was ready to blot, it, it wasn't like grease face, you know what I'm saying? It was just a little bit too too glowy, too glowy for my liking. But anyway, guys, I would recommend it. I love it. You should try it if this is what if you're looking for a foundation like this. Um, let me know if you've been interested in trying this or if you tried this foundation already. Let me know uh, what you guys think about it down below. It's legit. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. I love you guys very, very much. I hope this video reaches you well and in good spirits, and I will see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless.